My name is Kevin Harrison and I'm the owner and operator of Project Laser, which is a mobile laser cleaning service in Western Australia. Lasers are really good at cleaning soot off basically any hard substrate. So that can be a wooden beam, a steel beam, a painted wall, paving stones, bricks, all sorts of surfaces, whether it's really smooth or porous. We're sending thousands of light pulses every second into the surface contamination. This is getting absorbed into the soot and it's basically vaporizing it or popping off the surface. On this day, we were called in to help out remove smoke damage from a home that had a Molotov cocktail thrown into it. There was smoke filled throughout the home on both stories, like really, really dark black soot. We had to remove smoke damage from every single surface. So this was within the kitchen, lounges, bathrooms, we used our large laser for this job because it's got the 15 meter hose. We parked the vehicle right next to the house and then just extended the fiber optic cable through a, a door that had been kicked in and that gave us access to the majority of the house. This was a really long process, basically work from left to right. Once we finished laser cleaning, we did wipe down the walls just to ensure that there's no vagrant soot on the surface. We use a pulse laser, which is basically a tool to remove thin layers of surface contamination. So the benefits of a pulse laser, it has no abrasive power. So no matter how hard we try, we can't profile, scratch or damage a surface. A porous brick is going to absorb more of the soot. It's got all the cracks and crevices where soot will sit and you may have to clean at certain different angles. Whereas if you've got a nice smooth painted surface, it's all even. There's no soot hiding in different cracks and crevices. Here we're doing smoke damage removal with our small 200 watt mobile laser on a rammed earth wall. If you'd run your fingers over the wall, it was all crumbly and falling apart. So if they'd chosen to use high pressure water, chemicals and scrubbing brushes, they would have removed lots of material. This was a bushfire that basically came up to the home and licked the wall and then caught the trusses on fire. So there was also some smoke damage cleaning inside the house that we had to carry out. When you're using a laser cleaning machine, you need to take safety very seriously. It is very easy to mitigate the risks. Firstly, that can be done by wearing the correct safety glasses. So for us, that's wearing safety glasses that protect your eyes from the 1064 infrared laser pulses. Secondly, we've spent an uncomfortable amount of money on respirators. So everyone who operates the laser will be wearing a respirator. The beautiful thing about using a laser cleaning machine is you can really adjust the parameters depending on what you're cleaning. If you want to clean a larger area quicker, you can have a beam that goes, for example, 100 millimeters wide or about three and a half inches. If you wanted to do large areas, you could turn the power up and have a large beam. And at the same time, you could really wind the power down if you wanted to remove soot off a chandelier or a bathtub or the side of a TV, you really could wind it down enough to not damage even plastics if necessary. With our smaller laser, it's got a really defined focal zone, an inch or a couple centimeters. So if you're not with perfectly within that focal zone, the laser's not gonna be effectively cleaning. The beauty of the laser is you can just move backwards and forwards slowly, and you'll hear when the laser is at its loudest, which is basically when it's chewing through the soot. You could laser clean with your eyes closed and just use your ears once you get used to the sound. So on this job, we're using our 500 watt laser cleaning machine to remove smoke damage from a pool pump that caught on fire. Once we arrived on site, we saw that we could easily put our fiber optic cable over the fence. Unfortunately, there was a lot of heat with this fire. So there was a bit of area where the bricks were permanently oxidized. So there was a fair few spots where there's actually permanent damage on the bricks. We took off all the old plug points, screws that were still stuck in the wall. This just enabled us to really clean the whole wall properly. If we need to protect any hoses or cables when we're laser cleaning, put blue masking tape over the surface, or ideally you put aluminum foil tape. So aluminum reflects up to 95% of infrared light. So it's really easy to, to stop the laser pulses. Yeah, laser cleaning is very different to traditional cleaning methods for removing soot. Externally, they would use high pressure water. Internally on painted surfaces, you're generally using a degreaser, a bleach, countless rags, chemical gloves. You'd be spraying the chemical onto the surface, you'd be wiping it off, and then you'd be using more clean rags just until that surface was clean enough that they could apply another paint over the top. Lasers are basically a single pass. There's no water, there's no chemicals getting used. It's definitely the cleanest process, both internally and externally.
Laser cleaning is a brilliant technology. It's really only getting started in the, the sense of being mobile. So the technology is really growing rapidly. Every city in the world is in the next few years are gonna have a laser cleaning company that specifically targets smoke damage. It's a good feeling to be one of the first companies doing it and, and doing it well.